What's going on guys? Rusty from Townsend's Hydro Clean. Where I would do a little walk around video here of the trailer I picked up from Southeast Soft Wash. 850 miles back to Milford, Delaware. Uh, we'll say, pulled like a dream with the Dodge Ram. The trailer itself is pretty solid. It's robust. And uh, I'm going to say the same thing about Cody and the guys down there in Roanoke. A uh, solid group of folks there with plenty of support if you need it. Um, the Soft Wash 101 class, top notch, three hour course, kind of gives you the, the ins and outs. Uh, talk about safety, talk about ratios, talk about what chemicals to use where, uh, talk about marketing. It so it's, encompasses pretty much all in one. But um, the highlight is back there. It's, uh, it's the tandem axle trailer. So let's take a look at this bad boy. So as you can see, well, first, got me a case of that Southern Draw. It is marvelous. It has a great scent. Stuff. Mm. It smells so good. He's got another batch coming. I think it's going to be cherry flavored. Um, but here she is. Four gallon a minute. 20 inch surface cleaner. Take a look at that thing. Um, what was neat about the uh, surface cleaner, if you follow Cody, you'll see that he has had some issues with these handles when he goes to change this adapter here for the ball valve. Uh, he told me he opened the box, and voila. Somebody must have been watching his videos. They fixed the issue. So he didn't have to do that with this one. Good stuff. <clears throat> Honda. You know you can't go wrong with that thing. I think this thing is 13 horse, something like that. Um, key start. All your tips. I got a Louisville A-frame up there on the ladder rack. Um, picking up a 28-footer this week. He recommends that. There's a splitter right there. Sends everything out. The whole trailer, they do this in-house. It's covered with Raptor liner. Kind of like a Line X or Bully Liner. I don't know what they call it in your area. Uh, but this whole thing is covered in, in the Raptor Liner. I'll take a look in this box. If I can get it open. There's the two. I've sucked some stuff in here. But there's the two 12-volt deep cycle batteries. Got your charger right here. Uh, obviously some area for storage. I got some contractor bags, tarp, ratchet straps, stuff like that. Take a jump over here. There's the tube pump, five and a half gallons a minute. Turn one on. You can hear them running right there. Hello. Blend manifold. Water, soap, bleach. Two soft wash systems, 200 foot of hose, pressure wash. Ball valve. That's going to be our friend. The rinse reel here. He doesn't do the rinse reel wands anymore. Um, I'm not sure what we will uh, end up doing with that. Uh, there was actually some doubts that he was waiting on one reel for my bid uh, build, excuse me. And there was some doubts that that was going to come in. Uh, luckily, it did right at the last second. But um, we'll see what we end up doing with that. I would really prefer to rinse with the ball valve uh, just for time's sake. Uh, like I said, tandem axle. It pulls tremendously. I've got 2019 Dodge Ram. Um, 850 miles back, 11 miles per gallon. She pulled pretty good. Oh, what else here? Uh, like I said, man, everything's coated in this Raptor liner. Even the boards. The boards of the trailer are even coated in that Raptor liner to help with a little bit of protection. You can see the pressure washer from the other side. Oh, I know what I forgot. The lights. Take a step back. Those lights are worth the upgrade charge. Nice little weatherproof switch right there. I mean, they are beautiful when they're on at night. Last night when we brought it home, we threw them on for a little bit and took some pictures in the driveway here. Um, really really causes it to be set off 
I'll show you a picture of the whole rig. This is my truck. I think it's going to look pretty solid uh, pulling down the road. I've got some signs on order for the top. And I'm going to put some sort of a sign on the back. I'm not too sure about that. If you guys have any uh, recommendations, let me know. Um, I don't want to create a huge, huge drag by, <clears throat> excuse me, having a sign on there. If, uh, if you guys have got some alternatives, let me know. I may just stick one of my yard signs up there for the uh, time being, just to see. I'll show you my yard signs. And keep in mind, I do this part time. Um, there's one of my old two and a half gallon machines right there. I don't think we. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out with that. But um, nonetheless, that's pretty much it, man. I'm excited to get out there. Uh, we're gonna be doing some cleaning this week. Uh, Tuesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night so far. I've got my regular job. Um, things are good with my regular job, but I want more just like each and every one of you. I mean, I, I've got a family. My wife has a good job. Got a four-year-old son who's about to be five. And uh, we, we just want to build a legacy. And uh, we know that there's more out there for us. So uh, that's pretty much it. 100 gallon, 100 gallon. I think this soap tank is 30 gallons. Uh, I've got some F9 on order. So that'll be here soon. We're going to be using their products to take care of inorganic. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, if you know anything about this right here, what you guys do for signs on the back, let me know. Um, I know some guys have the big signs that cover the entire gate. My only thing is, is I don't want to go from 11 miles a gallon to 9 ga miles a gallon from a sign. But that's my rig. I love it. I can't wait to get out and start slinging. Uh, hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is killing it. And uh, look for more of these from me. I'm still getting used to doing the camera. I'm not shy on the camera, but I'm getting used to doing the camera. So. Uh, be talking to all you guys real soon. Neighbors walking the dogs. It's a beautiful day in Delaware. I'll see you guys later.